Okay, so today is the first day of October, and I felt it. I think you felt it. We all know that Halloween is in the air. So if you have kids, you know it's time to start getting ready. Joining me this morning is parenting expert slash correspondent Jenny Eisenman. Uh, and we kind of talked about your outfit, which I love because if you're at home, we've been talking about this character for like a week, gaining attention. Yes. We have Katy Perry here. Yes, Ta -da. thank you. I know. <laughs> I should have brought Elmo with me. I know. I was thinking We're when totally I heard, cool now. When I heard it was the the Elmo costume, I was thinking maybe like the Saturday Night Live, and I was like, ooh, that is risque. That would have been too much, I think, for the show. <laughs> a I was, bit, uh, I a was, little bit. I thought about it, but I um, went a little more conservative. It's very cute, though, and I think that it, it very much ties into what we're going to talk about today, which is um, tips to basically, you know, complete the Halloween look without going all out in the bank account. Right. Right, budgeting, budgeting yes. tips. And I have to say, I rarely call myself an expert, but I, I really am a Halloween <laughs> expert. I really am. I got married on Halloween. I have an annual party every year. You are a guru. I am true. I have a closet to, to back it up. So nice. I really am an expert. So I'm going to give you all my good tips. Okay. So the first thing is use the internet. That's the first thing you want to do. Go search any idea you have someone okay. else has thought of. They've logged it. They've blogged it. They give you a whole list. It'll give you great ideas. As in, like, what you want to look like for your yeah. character? Yeah. Okay. Or if you don't have an idea, use the internet. But if you know and you want to do something kind of fun, go on. I bet it's already there, okay. and you'll get a whole oh, list I'm of sure things to do. Is. And the next thing, the most important thing, is it's all about the accessories. So this costume cost me under $20. Um, sadly, I own some of it. I'm not even going to tell you which parts I own. <laughs> oh, You'll have man. to leave that to your imagination. But I own some of it, so I went out and I got the accessories. And that's really what makes your costume. Like, if you have base stuff in your house, leggings, tanks, turtlenecks, nightgowns, there are so many things you can use as a base and then add, you know. Well, the nice thing about accessories, too, is that you can you can very much do them on a budget. And you can almost yes. do them with kids, like almost like a craft project. If, if it's going to be like, you know, beads for little girls, stuff right. like that. You can do some things, but you have to be careful because sometimes moms want to make costumes. I mean, you can't make your son an Iron Man costume out of tinfoil because he will be in therapy for the rest of his life. So you have to be oh, careful yeah. what you choose to do it yourself yeah. and what you don't. But like little girls already have a ton of jewelry. Mm -hmm. You can become a princess, buy a wand, a wig, props, brooms, weaponry, whatever you need is a prop. That's your accessories. That's where you're going to spend your money. Make sure your hair is, is really done right. The makeup, the nails, all that stuff. So those are your accessories. So the next thing is be a Halloween hoarder. Oh, yes, that what? was my son and my what daughter's rock kids? stars. Oh, yeah. that's so And serious. that wasn't even Halloween. We were just bored. Well, you said you're a Halloween girl. I am. Right? That's what I'm saying. This is what makes me an expert, stuff like that. So you want to keep everything, okay. everything. Have a box, whatever you need, because you can always reuse it. A tiara can go with 10 different costumes. Yeah, it can. And I mean, especially when it's for kids, they like to play with it later anyways. So. And they, Exactly, and they play with it. So just once you buy it, put it in the box, and eventually you won't. You can just go in and, and do like what I did, just dress them up for the hell of it. <laughs> um, and then the next thing, okay, so the next thing I want to go over with you is the Halloween trends for 2010. Okay, yes. Okay, so they always follow movies. So you're going to see a lot of Iron Man, Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Little girls are going to be in Barbie because they just did Fashion Tale and Mermaid Tale. Yes. Um, we've got uh, Tangled coming out, which is Disney's new Rapunzel movie, so you're going to see a lot of those. Also, 80s throwbacks are really big. So not just Katy Perry and Lady Gaga and this stuff now, but you're going to see Madonna and Cyndi Lauper. Oh, so we're going to have, like, the shredded leggings yes. and, like, the, the, the fingers cut out of the gloves. And the thing you have to remember about the 80s is just abundance, neon colors, and um, just everything being over the top. You probably have a lot of stuff at home that, when put together, looks so much better than a prefab costume that you would have bought at a store. Well, it, and it makes it your own, too. I mean, it, Right, it and then everyone isn't wearing original. the same thing. And that's part of doing it yourself. It's not just to save money. It also gives you a much greater, cooler, more unique look. And then, of course, the last thing that's really big this year is still vampires. So, you know, expect not like the I want to suck your blood kind of vampires, like the modern kind of depressed vampires that are dressed like, you know, Handsome school I children. You, I bet you adults are very much into that. Oh uh, yeah, too. well, because Twilight and True Blood. So you know, a couple drips of blood. Don't get the really cheesy fangs. Get the good ones. Nice. Spend a little extra. Yeah, to, I've you seen know. some pretty cool. Exactly. Pretty cool and then you're just a little white, a little dark. Okay. And you know. All right. All I'm right. Complain so a lot. Awesome tips. <laughs> awesome tips. For more information on parenting with obviously a twist of humor, uh, check out Jenny's website, thesuburbanjungle.com.